Hey there! Went to Goodwill for 9, 10, 11, 4 hours and um, had a different approach today. Typically I come back with these great big hauls. I um, decided to cherry pick a little bit more, just go trophy hunting and, and look for stuff with a little bit of a, a higher set point of, of what I intend to list it at. Um, and it, it worked out. It, it worked out pretty well. Uh, I went to three thrift stores. So going in chronological order, I'll start with just the best thing that I found. I couldn't believe I actually found this. I didn't anticipate ever finding one of these, ever. This is like clickbait status thrift find. It's a Genesis. It's a Genesis. It's a Sega Genesis for 15 bucks. And it's all in there. The console, two controllers, and Shaq Fu, the worst video game ever made. The Shaquille O'Neal Mortal Kombat ripoff. Original, authentic. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to test it. I have an adapter that I think will work. I didn't even look it up. <clears throat> didn't even look it up. I don't know how much these are worth. I assume at least a couple hundred. I could be wrong on that. Maybe 150. I'm gonna do a local flip on this. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge, especially with Christmas coming up. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this. It's got a little, it's even got a little plug for Sega CD down here. The box is in not perfect condition, you know, but screw it. All right, that was a good way to start the day. And then I was driving to this other Goodwill and I saw this little tiny thrift store in the corner that I had never seen before and uh, wasn't on Google Maps. LA has a lot of these tiny little mom and pop thrift stores that are not listed and you can only find them <coughs> on accident, it seems. It was one of those. They uh, didn't have prices listed on any, any of their stuff and they wanted too much. I found a couple things. Um, but I ended up just getting this. This is not a very good brand, but it's Goose Down. And Goose Down Puffer Jackets, that's what this is called. This is a puffer, these big ribs. Goose Down Puffer stuff, I'm willing to go out on a limb and say the brand actually doesn't really matter. That's my gamble here. Didn't really run the numbers on this. It was eight bucks. But I'm pretty confident in, in Goose Down Puffer stuff, especially, uh, you know, this time of year. Everything that I've listed that's Goose Down Puffer is sold within like 24 hours, regardless of brand. All right, so that was it for that one. And then went to the final Goodwill of the day. The Cinchilla stuff, I think, fetches an even higher price than just standard <clears throat> standard uh, Patagonia stuff. I don't know what this is called. I think this is a this is like a cowl neck, but it is not exactly a cowl neck. I'll probably list it as one. Uh, I didn't run the numbers on this. I can't believe I'm saying this this much, but that's just a no-brainer. It's uh, it was seven bucks. This one I did look up. I don't know anything about this, what this is. There are zero actives and 10 sold, and they all sold for 30 bucks, which is probably what I'll list this at, $2. Tempted to keep it. This is new for me, not familiar. I believe this is an anthropology brand, and it's it's either linen or linen or hemp, it doesn't say it's got beards on it. It was 100% across the board, identical numbers. It was like 25 actives, 24 complete, 24 sold. And a lot of them sold for over 50 bucks. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this because there are no exact comps. But 
It was uh, nine bucks, which was a little, that made my, my balls hurt a little bit. But uh, it should it should work out, I think. Last find. Pair of driving moccasins. From the original car shoe. The comps on this are very promising. Some of them sell for over a hundred. And this is real leather. Generally good condition. It has some scuffing right here. One of the sold comps listed this as a Prada brand. And that's the second time I've seen that. I have a uh, Patrick Osaroff shirt that still hasn't sold that I believe was made by Prada, but Prada's not listed anywhere on that. But all the sold comps say Prada, Prada, Prada. Same with this. Um, it doesn't say Prada anywhere on it. And I'm cautious. I don't know if, if that's just clickbait that people are doing or what. I don't know what the story is. But uh, I think this was a solid buy, solid buy. They had to go in the back to look for the other one. Um, and thank God they actually found it. That was a stroke of luck. That was it. I probably spent, I don't know, around 50 bucks the whole day. And I mean, obviously the Sega Genesis is gonna pay for all of it. The, the Sega Genesis and the Patagonia are guaranteed sellers. I have zero doubt at all. And the rest of it is, is pretty safe, the goose down stuff. So. This is going to be my uh, methodology going forward. We're going into the home stretch of me needing to pay rent at the end of the month. So um, I'm going to be very conservative with my money and uh, only pull the trigger on stuff like this. Thanks for watching.